Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss examples on finding Laplace transform of particular type of integral given by integral of f of t dt over the limit 0 to t. In my previous video, I have already discussed the technique to evaluate Laplace transform of such integrals. So let us see our first example. Here we have to find Laplace of integral of u into cos square u du over the limit 0 to t. Let us see its solution. First of all, we will find out Laplace transform of u into cos square u. To do so, one has to find Laplace transform of cos square u. So we first find out Laplace transform of cos square u. To do that, I would like to recall trigonometric identity of cos 2 theta, which is 2 cos square theta minus 1. Therefore, cos square theta is 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2. So I can write this Laplace of cos square u as Laplace of 1 plus cos 2 u upon 2. By linearity property, this can be written as 1 by 2 outside into Laplace of 1 plus Laplace of cos 2 u. Now we write Laplace of 1 by using formula Laplace of 1 is equal to 1 by s. Similarly, Laplace of cos 2 u can be written using formula of Laplace of cos a t which is s upon s square plus a square. In this particular case, a is 2. So here we will write Laplace of 1 as 1 by s and Laplace of cos 2 u as s upon s square plus 2 square. So this is Laplace of cos square u. We call this as phi of s and now we proceed to find Laplace of u into cos square u. To do that, I would like to recall effect of multiplication by t which says Laplace of t into f of t is minus d ds of phi of s that is derivative of phi of s with respect to s where phi of s is Laplace of f of t and this is our phi of s so we will just simply differentiate it with respect to s and multiply it with minus sign so I am going to substitute phi of s over here and then I will differentiate it for that I would like to recall some derivative formulas derivative of 1 by u with respect to u is minus 1 upon u square and derivative of u by v is v into u dash minus u into v dash over v square. So let us apply this first formula to this first term. So derivative of 1 by s with respect to s is minus 1 by s square and considering s as u and s square plus 2 square as v we can write its derivative as v into derivative of s which is 1 minus u that is s into derivative of v that is derivative of s square plus 2 square which is 2s upon v square. Then after simplifying this numerator we get s square minus 2s square which is minus s square. So we have 2 square minus s square in, the, in this numerator then taking this minus sign inside this term becomes 1 upon s square and this term will become s square minus 2 square like this. Now we call this as after this we will find out <coughs> after this we will find out Laplace of integral of u cos square u du over the limit 0 to t. For that I would like to recall this formula of Laplace which says Laplace of integral of f of t dt over the limit 0 to t is equal to 1 by s into phi of s where phi of s is Laplace of this f of t. And what is this f of t? It is nothing but integrand of this integral. And in this particular case integrand is u into cos square u and its Laplace is this term. So all we have to do is we have to multiply this term with just 1 by s term to get Laplace transform of this integral. So we write Laplace of integral of u cos square u du over the limit 0 to t as 1 by s into this term. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let us proceed for next one. Here we are asked to find Laplace of integral of 1 minus e raised to minus a u upon u du over the limit 0 to t. To find this Laplace, one has to first find out Laplace of this integrand. 
which is 1 minus e raised to minus a u upon u. To find Laplace transform of this integrand, one has to first find out Laplace transform of this numerator that is 1 minus e raised to minus a u. So let us first find out its Laplace transform. So by linearity property, I can write this as Laplace of 1 minus Laplace of e raised to minus a u. And we know by formulas, Laplace of 1 is 1 by s and Laplace of e raised to minus a t is 1 upon s plus a. In this particular case, t is u. So we write Laplace of 1 as 1 by s and Laplace of e raised to minus a u as 1 upon s plus a. This is phi of s. Now using this phi of s, we will find out Laplace of 1 minus e raised to minus a u upon u using effect of division by t rule. Let us recall that rule. It says Laplace of f of t upon t is integral of phi of s ds over the limit s to infinity. So all we have to do is we have to integrate this phi of s over the limit s to infinity with respect to s. Let me substitute for phi of s. It is this. Then using integral calculus formula which says integral of f dash x upon f of x dx is log of f of x. I can write integral of 1 by s ds as log s and integral of 1 upon s plus a as log of s plus a over the limit s to infinity. Then using log property log a minus b is equal to log a by b we can write this as log of s upon s plus a. Now if I try to substitute this upper limit infinity in s I will get infinity upon infinity form. To avoid this, I would like to multiply numerator and denominator both by term 1 by s. So we get log of s by s as 1, s by s as 1, a by s over here. Now when we substitute this upper limit infinity in s, we get 0 over here and we left with log of 1 upon 1 that is log 1. Then after substituting lower limit s in s, this term remains as it is, that is log of s upon s plus a. And we know log of 1 is 0. So we get 0 minus log of s upon s plus a and using log property which says minus log of a by b is log b by a, we can write this term as log of s plus a upon s. This is Laplace transform of 1 minus e raised to minus a u upon u. Now we proceed to find Laplace transform of integral of 1 minus e raised to minus a u upon u du over the limit 0 to t. For that, let us recall Laplace transform of integral of f of t dt over the limit 0 to t, which is 1 by s into phi of s, where phi of s is Laplace of f of t. So what is Laplace of f of t in this case? It is log of s plus a upon s. So we simply multiply this term by 1 by s to get Laplace transform of this integral. So Laplace transform of this integral is 1 by s into log of s plus a upon s. I hope guys you understood this example as well. So we proceed to next example now. Here we are asked to find Laplace of e raised to minus 4t into integral of u sin 3u du over the limit 0 to t. Guys, we will solve this example using first shifting theorem. We will consider this integral term as f of t. Then this can be treated as Laplace of e raised to minus a t into f of t. And we know that in first shifting theorem, we have to first find out Laplace of f of t. So let us first find out Laplace of this integral and to do so we have to first find out Laplace of u into sin 3u. So let us do that. In case of finding Laplace of u into sin 3u we need to first find out Laplace of sin 3u. Then we will apply effect of multiplication by t rule to find out Laplace of u into sin 3u. So let us proceed. What is Laplace of sin 3u? For that, recall formula of Laplace of sin a t, which is a upon s square plus a square. Here, a is 3. So, Laplace of sin 3 u will be 3 upon s square plus 3 square. Like this. Let us call it as phi of s. Then, 
using effect of multiplication by t we can find out laplace of u into sin 3u using formula minus d ds of phi of s where phi of s is laplace of f of t we have already calculated phi of s now we have to differentiate it with respect to s once and we have to multiply it by minus sign so let us differentiate this phi of s which is 3 upon s square plus 3 square here i would like to recall derivative formula which says derivative of 1 upon f of t is minus 1 upon f of t the whole square into this is by chain rule f dash of t derivative of f of t so here 3 is constant you can take it out then derivative of 1 upon s square plus 3 square will be minus 1 upon s square plus 3 square the whole square into derivative of s square plus 3 square derivative of s square plus 3 square is 2s so 2s goes in the numerator minus into minus becomes plus so we left with 6s upon s square plus 3 square the whole square this is laplace transform of u into sin 3u let us call it as delta s now we are all set to find Laplace transform of this integral. For that, recall Laplace transform of integral of f of t dt over the limit 0 to t is nothing but 1 by s into phi of s, where phi of s is Laplace of this integrand, which we have already calculated. It is this. So we simply multiply it by 1 by s. So 1 by s into 6s upon s square plus 3 square the whole square is Laplace transform of this integral. This s and s will get cancelled. We left with this. Let us call it as psi of s. Now finally, we reached up to this point where we have to find Laplace of e raised to minus 4t into f of t. f of t is Laplace we have already calculated. It is psi of s. Then by first shifting theorem, we can write Laplace of e raised to minus 8t into f of t as psi of s plus 4. In case you do not remember first shifting theorem, here it is. Laplace of e raised to minus a t into f of t is phi of s plus a where phi is Laplace of f of t. In our case, phi is nothing but psi. So here we have to write psi of s plus 4 because a is 4 in this case. So in psi of s, we replace every s by s plus 4 to get psi of s plus 4. So Laplace of e raised to minus 4t into this integral is 6 upon s plus 4 the whole square plus 3 square the whole square. This is Laplace transform of this term. I hope guys you understood this example as well. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. Below are a couple of practice examples with their final solutions written. Guys, Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. Please also mention the difficulty level of these practice examples. And if you like the video, please don't forget to click on the like button and share this video among your friends. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.